Hi, Heather Hirsch here with some really cool news from the North American Menopause Society that just came out a few short days ago, might have been a week ago at this point, looking at the best type of estrogen for our heart. So if you don't already know, February is Go Red for Women. And that is because the leading cause of death in women is by and far heart disease. I often say that as women, we're often really afraid of female cancers, breast cancers, but really heart disease is the leading cause of death in women. And we need to make that known. One, so we can take away fear from things that it's, um, that we women are not, um, it's not the highest cause of mortality. And two, to really shed light on what we should be researching on and talking about. So, in the women's health study, which came out, or the results came out in the early 2000s, what we see when we did post hoc analysis, which means when we, as scientists, looked at the data uh, several years later in several different points, we actually see that women who started hormone therapy within 10 years of menopause lived the longest and died less from all heart disease. Now, we don't use, right now, we don't use estrogen for primary prevention of our heart, we could argue that the data actually is supportive of that, but we don't use it for primary prevention, which means that you don't get estrogen just because you are turning menopausal. Uh, per the FDA, you should have symptoms. That is what makes hormone therapy approved, whether it's hot flashes, dentary syndrome of menopause, or other types of things. Now, what just came out in the news is something called the KEEPS trial, Coronos Early Estrogen Prevention Study, which was actually done in multiple different sites and started, um, the main researcher is at um, my institution, is at Brigham and Women's, and they were looking at pericardial fat accumulation using um, uh, a, a CT or carotid intimal thickening measure um, as a way to look at um, or as a, uh, how do I want to say this, as a um, uh, marker for this pericardial, pericardial fat accumulation. So in this study, they looked at the use of oral estrogen, which is Premarin, which is what they use in the Women's Health Initiative, and transdermal estrogen, a patch, um, and they were looking at women who are within 10 years of menopause. So this KEEPS study, the Cronus Early Estrogen Prevention Study, um, looked at uh, a couple hundred women who took estrogen replacement when they were shortly in, in the menopause, so less than 10 years, and they either took it orally or as a patch. And what they found is that there was less carotid intimal thickening uh, that they measured and less pericardial fat accumulation around the heart in the women who took the oral Premarin compared to the patch. So that's really exciting and interesting. A lot of people are a little fearful about a Premarin, either because it comes from horses uh, or the way it's made. Um, but we actually have a lot of data that Premarin is actually quite safe. Now, is it the Premarin or was it the oral preparation compared to the transdermal? We don't know. What I will say is that this is really exciting and interesting because heart disease is so important to women's health, particularly midlife, midlife women's health. And we have this new study looking at ways in which hormone replacement is actually very beneficial for women's longevity, especially in terms of reductions in, in heart disease. So this is really, really exciting.